In this video, we're going to look at running a chi-square analysis in JASP. And so we, we've got our data file again here. We're using this Campus Life Survey data file. And to run chi-square, it might not be obvious to you where we would look for this. And we'd actually go to this Frequencies tab. And what we're going to want are the contingency tables. That's what we'll use for running a chi-square. So for this particular one, let's say we want to look at um, students who study abroad and to see if there is a, a gender difference between uh, for students who study, who stud, choose to study abroad. So we've got the study abroad category, which we, we've used that variable before. And then we'll look for gender. We found gender. We put that in the columns. For this, honestly, it, it, it doesn't matter which one you put it in. So if you put if you decide to put the study abroad into the columns and gender into rows, that's perfectly fine for this. Not a problem whatsoever. So we, we have our basic information already over here. Um, what we wanted to make sure was chi-square, and that's the symbol for, for chi-square. But we wanted to make sure that that, that was clicked um, for it. And then we want to go down a little farther here, which you can't quite see see within this video this cells and um, we want to make sure that we that we grab either the columns or the rows and I think for this um, we'll want to grab the columns um, to to give us a sense as to to men and women the percentage of them who are studying abroad or not and I I like to click on the expected frequencies as well so what's helpful about the expected frequencies um, for this is we get in our count here, we have our observed frequency. Um, so remember, for one is, is women, two is men. Uh, and so we've got our observed frequency. And then the expected count is the expected um, if, there, if, we, if the null hypothesis were true. That is that we expect no difference uh, between the groups. And so you'll see that in this particular cell, our observed frequency is actually a little larger than what it is that we, we would kind of expect by chance. And it's a little smaller over here. Um, for those who plan to study abroad but haven't, haven't done so yet, for women, that's, that's, about, that's about as close as you can get to, to what would be expected. Um, same thing over here for men. And then for in this category, no plans to study abroad, the expected count is higher than what, what the actual observed count is, is, and just the opposite for men here. And so you'll see down here, here's our, our chi-square value right here. Um, here's our degrees of freedom. And then here's our probability level. And so again, what our heuristic for that is, we, we use 0 0.05 as our cutoff. Um, this is less than 0 0.05, so we would say there's a statistically significant difference. And when we look at that difference, we, we go up here to the chart. We're just looking at what it is that we have for the information here. And we can see here, in the ones who have already had a study abroad experience, you have more women um, in that category than would be expected by chance, and you have fewer men. And over in, remember in here, we said there was really no difference. Um, and over here, we see that the ones who plan to study abroad, um, uh, put, excuse me, have no plans to study abroad, that women, um, it's, it's fewer for them in that particular category than what would be expected. And for men, there's more than what would be expected. All right, so how would we end up writing up these results? So again, we're gonna go, we're gonna go up to here, we're gonna copy, and then we'll paste that into our Word document over here, and then, um, then we'll, we'll write up our results. Okay, so I jumped ahead here a little bit to, to write this up. This is one way in which you could write up these results. There's a significant relationship between study broad categories and gender. And then again, we're using our little statistical shorthand. So this is the chi-square value. Honestly, if you just use a capital X, that's fine. Otherwise, if you want to um, look for for the symbol 
Um, you can end up doing that in the insert category and find the symbol. I've got it in the shortcut here, but you'd have to go, you, you might have to go look for it down in here. Um, and so the chi square value, and then here's two, two is our degrees of freedom that we see down here. So, so that's where we got the two. And then the sample size here, and the sample size we got right down here, our N for this, and then equals 6.29, that's our chi-square value that we found here. And then um, comma uh, P equals 0 0.043, and we see the probability value um, right down in here. And then the next sentence is the important sentence sentence because it tells the reader, okay, all, all we said in the first sentence is there's a relationship, but what does that mean? Are we, you know, we don't know that. that uh, so, so the next sentence tells the reader, hey, this is what what ended up taking place. Women were more likely to have a study abroad experience compared to men, and we saw that here, right? There, theirs is higher uh, here. Men are, were less likely to have a study abroad experience compared to what we'd expect by chance. And men were, were uh, more likely, excuse me, I should put that. They have no plans to study abroad. And we see that here as well, down in here, the, the actual count, observed count versus the expected count um, in that category is, is larger. As compared to uh, as compared to women in that particular category, so that's how it is that we would that we would write up our results for uh, the chi-square statistics.